All right, now we're doing 7Q, Sum of Odd Numbers. This is by H. Helwich. And uh, this is what 83% of the people like it. All right. Uh, given the triangle of consecutive odd numbers, calculate the sum of the numbers in the nth row of this triangle, starting at index 1. All right. Well, for this one, <laughs> this one, you're just going to have to stare at this one for a while and try to figure out some kind of pattern. Like, look at this. Look, it's they're all odd, right? So 1, 3, 7, what are they? What are they? Primes? 13, 21? Oh, no, not with that one. Uh, these are all primes. Uh, but it doesn't matter with the primes. So after you stare at it for good and long, uh, you start to say something. You start to see something, I should say. What if I took 1 from here and put it over here? What would that make it? 4 and 4, right? What if I took... What is this? Uh, what if I took two from here and put them over here, right? Wouldn't that make it nine, nine, and nine? Oh, 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 oh! So there's a pattern showing up. What if I take one from here, put it here, sixteen? What if I say sixteen? Oh, so nineteen minus sixteen, three. What if I take three from here and put it here, sixteen, 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 sixteen? Okay, so now we now we're starting to see some sort of pattern develop. Uh, turns out that every time there's a number in the middle. Uh, we're going to probably have, you know, whatever, however many numbers in the rows of that number. And then if there's even, you're going to take this one, put one here, and then just do whatever you got to do to make this number into this number using this number's numbers. Anyway, hopefully that makes sense. Now, now that we know that, what are we going to do? Uh, we want to add them together and all that stuff. So one, this is going to be eight. This is going to be 27. This is going to be, what is this? Uh, 64, right? Looks like it. And this is going to be 125. Wait a minute. 1, 8, 27, 64, 125. I've heard those numbers before. What do all those numbers have in common? Maybe we would say return in to the third power. <laughs> And it turns out H. Hellwitch is just a joker after all. Because 8, 1, 8, what is this? 27, 64, and 125 are all uh, uh, perfect cubes. All right. And so here's the answer. We don't need to go through any more of that. Let's test it out. Oh, imagine that. Attempt it. Oh, look at there. All right. Submit it. Pardon me. All right, I very much like this one. It has you staring at it for a little while, but whatever. All right, 1629 plus the rest of us. And uh, best practice in my opinion. And we'll see you next time.